How do you teach beauty? You should be thinking like an artist. For Mrs. Betchart, it starts with a mess. Look at me. So clever. <laughs> yeah, we need more wet. Something so simple as painting a stick can be so enjoyable. It kind of looks really cool. She's leading a group of curators at Pioneer Elementary. I'm just trying to help them bring it to life, and I told them, if you can dream it, I will make it happen for you. Grades K through 5 all will play a part. Everyone's had a little piece of it. I was trying to make sure that all the kids of Pioneer were a part of the project. They've been commissioned to bring some beauty to one of DCSD's most historic buildings. For the Cantrell building to design and freshen up the space a little bit to make it a little bit more like um, kid friendly. It's been a year in the making. Installation is set for the month of May. It's out really nicely and we put a lot of hard work in this. Among the elements are bottles and tree branches. Day and what's the other and night. The colors are carefully chosen to illustrate day and night and the four seasons. Education changes like the seasons do, but certain things always still stay the same. An idea so simple and beautiful, it's no surprise that it came from these children. They thought of it, they created it, they designed it, and now they're going to get to see it come to life. Carrying the idea to completion? You're dedicated with that arm like that to keep painting. That's a job for a great teacher. I keep telling them, you guys have a job. You have a real art job that you're getting to do. Lots of people in the world come to see your artwork and think that it's a nice piece of artwork. The project has spun off creative inventions. And I loved how you guys came in the morning and said, hey, I think we have a solution. Like a motorized spinner. And now we have a really big nope, wheel. Nope, nope. It's brought new confidence. I'm more creative than I used to be. And it has brought an appreciation for a simpler time. Instead of just sitting on a game or, you know, some kind of technology, they're like, I didn't even realize you could do this. I, I started doing it at home and it's really fun. It's just like more realistic. I just feel like, yay, I did my job of exposing them to something else. I feel happy because I love art so much. I feel like nothing else matters. How do you teach beauty? And it's pretty. Art's pretty. <laughs> For Mrs. Betchart, it comes pretty easily. You did a great job at your presentation today. I was so proud of you. I just enjoy the kids. They're just fun. Getting clean is important. Come on, paint, get off the floor. But what's the use if you didn't make a beautiful mess? It's okay if it gets messy, right? That's part of art. Yeah, thanks for all your help today. And of course, I have paint everywhere. The life of an art teacher.